So this is our icon for the movement. It's a red, white, and blue armband with handwritten words, We the People. And we're asking everybody to make these and start wearing them to start discussions in buses, at restaurants, where you work. What inspired me to activism was growing up in Wisconsin. Um, as a 13-year-old, I was walking to middle school and birds were falling out of the air, dying. And even a 13-year-old knows something's wrong when birds are falling out of the air. So I went and asked my father, why is this happening? What is happening? And he explained to me about DDT. Um, and he was very worried that his three kids would also be poisoned walking to school. So I made a pretty direct link between if it's not good for the birds, it's not good for us people either. Um, my dad sued the state of Wisconsin, which became the first state to ban DDT. I went off to college with this lesson of when something's wrong, you step up to fix it. Next thing that went wrong for me was the Exxon Valdez oil spill on March 24th, 1989. And I literally had flashbacks um, and I realized this was my turn. It was my turn to step up. And I made a commitment that day that I was going to work, do everything I could to help the global society transition off oil and fossil fuels. I wanted to see that happen in my lifetime. I thought at first it would be as a scientist, as a marine biologist, but I, be, I realized uh, the more and more I got into this, who is blocking us? This is a clash of values. People want to pass a sustainable planet onto their children and grandchildren. People want health care. People want actually to get off oil and coal. Um, and we can't do it. And we can't do it because the people don't rule right now. We do not have a functioning democracy. The people are not ruling at all. What we have is corporate persons ruling. And the more I came to understand this, the more incensed I got. Um, when we started our country, people were property and it took amendments to our constitution to fix that. And now where we're at is property is people and it's going to take amendments to fix that. We need to amend the U.S. Constitution to affirm that only human beings have constitutional rights. And that's what I'm on the road now doing as a spokesperson, national spokesperson with the grassroots coalition moveToamend.org. We are the campaign to legalize democracy in the United States. Please join.